Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Laravel 5.8 series and in this video we are going to learn how to install Laravel 5.8 from scratch, okay? So Laravel 5.8 has been launched recently. We can see here uh, Laravel 5.8, we can search here uh, Laravel 5.8, yeah. So you can see Laravel 5.8 has been launched, okay? just few days back it has been launched and now uh, first of all we are going to install this laravel 5.8 uh, up till now we have installed laravel 5.6 we have installed laravel 5.7 we have made project in laravel 5.6 and we have updated our project in laravel 5.7 and now we are going to install laravel 5.8 and after that we are going to update our projects in laravel 5.8 as well and we'll also learn the new features of Laravel 5.8 in the upcoming videos. Okay, so let's start installing Laravel 5.8. And for the Laravel 5.8 installation as well, we require uh, PHP 7, PHP uh, 7.1.3, I think. Okay, so uh, I'm going to see this link. Yeah, I'm going to see if features and see php 7.1.3 so uh, now uh, see uh, for laravel 5.8 as well uh, we uh, require zap or vamp server or some other uh, apache server okay that we are going to see you can install okay after that uh, we are going to install composer as well okay and after that we are going to run the laravel means uh, we'll give the command to run like laravel new command or via composer we can install the laravel okay so let's do these steps first of all uh, you can install xamp and wam i have already installed it but you can install at your end that is very simple to install you can install xamp okay download xamp you can click on this link and uh, here you can see the different versions uh, Windows, if you are on Windows platform, then you can install Windows. Otherwise, if you are in, is in Linux platform, then you can install Linux. And if you are in Mac, then you can install one of these. But make sure that you must install at least 7.1.6, 1.26, or 7.2.15. Okay, uh, 7.3.2 you can also install, but uh, at least uh, check here 7.1.3. So I recommend that you can install 7.2.15, okay? And in here as well, you can install 7.2.15 or you can even install 7.3.2, okay? And in Windows as well, you can either install 7.2.15 or 7.3.2, okay? So uh, uh, you just need to uh, install from here, download 64 bit, okay? Uh, I think it will also work for 32 bit, okay? So after installation just you need to click here and you can install this okay it will start installing okay and after installation uh, means uh, then uh, you can install any of the drive you can install i have already having zap okay i hope that you know how to install uh, the uh, zap i think that you must uh, uh, know uh, that how to install zap and if you don't know you can uh, comment on uh, means you can contact me i will explain you that as well but i hope that uh, every one of you uh, knows at least php uh, that's why you are learning the laravel framework okay so after installing this jam uh, we are going to uh, check here that we are going to run uh, jam okay just simply we are going to run that apache as well as mysql Okay, so after running these uh, these things, uh, we uh, now need to install the composer as well. Okay, now see, uh, I'm going to check here that you can check as well that your uh, Zap has been installed properly or not. You can give localhost and can check at your end as well. Okay, so. Okay, so it will take a few minutes and uh, see here.
So this takes you some time. My system is a bit slow, so sorry for that. No issue. Yeah, see here my uh, see uh, here PHP and all. Uh, you can check here PHP info, PHP my admin. Uh, that is working fine, so that's why uh, this thing has opened. Okay. So you can also see I able to download and download folder. Yeah, it's still downloading. Now uh, see we can click on PHP info and we see here see uh, the version PHP version can find two point two so uh, it supports uh, so that's why I ask you to download that you can download at least this version uh, okay so uh, PHP my admin as well. Okay, so after installing ZAP, uh, we need to install Composer, so uh, we can check Composer as well here. Okay, so you can simply open uh, this link, and if you are on Windows, then uh, you can simply install this Composer setup.exe. Okay, you can simply install this one. here you can able to install this in few seconds okay after installation you can directly click on this one for this setup Here, uh, this window will open while you will try to install the composer. Then you just need to enable this developer mode and need to click on next. And here, uh, you can specify the path where uh, you have installed your ZAP or WAP. Okay, uh, now it's in my app drive, ZAP and uh, WAP is in my app drive, so I'm specifying F, okay, composer. And after that, you can click on next, and it is going to install in uh, zamphp.php.exe. Okay, that file is uh, that path is correct. You can make sure that this path is correct, and it must uh, contain your php.exe file in zamp folder. Okay, now you can simply press next, and you can able to install your composer. Okay, composer is required uh, for Laravel. Okay. See, we finished with Composer. Yeah, now we can simply check that the Composer has been installed or not. We can click on ZAMP control panel. And here in shell, you can check the Composer. You can run the Composer command here. And you can check whether the Composer has been installed or not. OK, see here, all the uh, Composer configuration has come. All the Composer options have come here. So Composer has been installed successfully. OK. So now Composer has been installed. ZAMP is already there. You can install ZAMP as well. Uh, see here. Uh, okay. So yeah, see here ZAMP. This is the uh, ZAMP I have installed. Okay, uh, just recently. And Composer I have clicked two three times. So that's why it is installed again and again. Okay. So see ZAMP and as well as Composer, both these things I have installed. And in case of that uh, uh, ZAMP, uh, it will ask you such kind of thing. You can click on OK. You can click on Next. You can click on Next again. You can specify here F drive means your own drive, wherever you want to install ZAMP. OK. Uh, generally, uh, you must install 
uh, zap in your def means don't install in c drive add as if the windows will get corrupt then your c drive uh, you can lose your c drive at any time so it's better if you will install in any of the other drive other than c okay so you can just need to click on next i am not going to do this thing because uh, it can create issue at my end because i have already had exam but you need to just follow the next 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 kind of thing and it will uh means you able to install that yeah okay so now composer also installed uh, and zap also installed now we are going to uh, install that laravel 5.8 with the laravel 5.8 command we have the two option okay uh, whether we can give this one laravel new okay or we can uh, via composer we can install uh, the laravel as well here composer create hyphen project then prefer uh, uh, disp laravel slash laravel block okay so i am going to install with this one okay laravel new block here i am going to run in my laravel folder and going to run here uh git bash here you can install you can also install git bash uh, okay if you want to uh run uh, the laravel project from git bash if you want to use the git bash then uh, you can also get the git bash okay uh and install git bash if you want to replace your command prompt with git bash then you can install your git bash as well okay from this one you can install your git bash okay so here i am right clicking on git bash and here in my laravel folder i am going to click on here and here i am going to click on that uh, going to run that command laravel new laravel 5.8 okay this is my project name okay you can uh, choose your own project name okay i am choosing this laravel 5.8 okay now i'm going to enter and see my laravel will start installing okay so if in case uh, some issue comes at your end like the issue uh, might come like uh, laravel command not valid or php command not valid such kind of issue Uh, can come uh, sometime like laravel php command not found okay then uh, you need to follow some of these steps okay then you need to set your environment variable okay so uh, it can happen uh, uh, then what you need to do uh, i have explained in the description in the video description as well or you can contact me as well okay so Uh, if such kind of issue come laravel command not found or php command not found okay then what you need to do you need to go inside your environment variable okay uh, in in windows 8 i can search like this but if you are in windows 7 uh, you can straight away go in your control panel system uh, then uh, advanced system setting there you can find in system properties uh, then you can go in advanced tab Uh, then uh, you will find that environment variable but here we can simply click on this one okay here you can find out the environment variables then here you need to set uh, your path see i have set the path in the beginning and these two path you need to set here you can set like uh, my xamp has been installed in f drive so i have set that path f xamp slash my sql slash bin and f xamp uh slash php okay this two path you need to set at your end okay if the issue will come at your end after that it will work perfectly okay uh okay that you know now and now the only thing we just need to wait for this installation to complete and then we are going to check the laravel 5 and 8 okay so uh let it complete and uh, it is the laravel 5.8 and, and you can find out uh, new features in laravel 5.8 as well like we have study about laravel 5.7 is having new features here as well 
you can find out these new features that we will study in detail in future videos okay Okay, uh, now you can see that Laravel 5.8 has been installed. Here you can see application ready, build uh, something amazing that is coming fine. You can exit this, okay? You can simply exit. Okay, now we can see the folder here, Laravel 5.8 folder now exists and uh, you can read here. Here you can see all the files are coming, vendor folder also, and here you can right click once again and get back here. If you are running command prompt, then you can uh, run uh, mean you can go to this path and can run this command once again okay php artisan serve the easy command uh, that you just need to run uh, you uh, now and you can see one two seven this one has come now now i will uh, try to open with this link and here you can see laravel laravel has been has come now laravel okay here you can check out and you can see uh that is laravel 5 and 8 it is going to laravel 5 and 8 okay see now laravel 5 and 8 has been installed okay so here you can see the encryption key automatically installed in laravel 5 and 8 uh, we no need to give that uh, no need to run that php addition key generate command in this one and if it will uh show you some encryption key kind of error that then you can simply run that command php addition key uh hyphen generate uh, like uh, i've shown in video description okay otherwise you will face no issue at all okay so in future video we are going to migrate we are going to update our laravel 5.7 project to laravel 5.8 we are going to update our e-commerce project to laravel 5.8 we are going to update our dating project to laravel 5.8 and we are going to add our new projects in laravel 5.8 in the future videos and we will also learn the new features of laravel 5.8 very soon okay so i hope that you will be able to install laravel 5.8 in at your system and if in case you will face any issue you can contact me anytime in the video description itself you can comment okay and can ask me if you have any query okay then have a nice time goodbye